a rabbi like had his students hold the scriptures over their heart when they were memorizing them. And they would say, why do we do this? And he said, so that when your heart breaks, they'll fall in. So that when your heart breaks, they'll fall in. And it's a beautiful idea, which is that heartbreak is actually your ego cracking. And the moment that cracks, you're in the experience of truth. That's when you can really become who you are. That's when you can really become who you are. But to get to who you are, it's like when, you know, when a bone heals the wrong way. Like, that's what a lot of people's entire personality is. It's like a bone that grew the wrong way. And that needs a snap, a crack. It hurts, but we're pain avoiding creatures. So we're always running away from this pain. But the problem is, as we're running away from pain, we're still exactly in pain. The idea is like, no. Sink into what you are right now. Sink into what you are right now. I think that having your your personality or your ego um, or crash can often mean that you were trying to be somebody that you aren't and some people invest so much energy since they were a kid their mother was telling them you should be like this they're always working to hold up this giant tail feather that's when they have like anger outbursts or suddenly like their friends are like you you turn into someone that i've never met i don't even know who that is it's like no that is you met them you met underneath the tail feather you met that thing that they're they're trying to avoid by looking up at this mask that they're holding up to the world but that seething sea of disappointment, anger, and horror, and sadness, that's where it's at, man. You gotta go into that thing. And for <laughs> some people, the only way they can go into that is by having a full-scale nervous breakdown, because then they can have permission to dive into that, into that awful vortex of darkness, because underneath that vortex of darkness is paradise. Underneath that, that's love, and happiness, and joy, and connection, and tranquility. You can work out, and that will definitely give you a temporary good feeling. But until you address the internal structures that you haven't acknowledged, you're always gonna go back to that place where you find yourself morose and depressed and angry and you don't know why. You always go back to that place until you sit with the sadness inside of you. You have to do that.